Schools, law enforcement, really everyone is looking for solutions to the sexting problem. Lawmakers made the decision that lessening the punishment might be the answer. Odessa College student Kelly Crow remembers her high school days well, including the amount of sexting that happened at her school. A lot of girls sending pictures and it gets sent around the school. A lot. <laughs> For adults like Kelly, it's not illegal to exchange nude photos through text messages or sext as it's known. But for minors, it is, and schools statewide have had trouble dialing in on the problem. Teen sexting was previously considered a form of child pornography, a felony offense. One that legislators decided was too stiff for the crime, too harsh for prosecutors to take action, so offenders either faced the extreme penalty or got away with very little consequence. Changing it from a felony to be a misdemeanor would be better because they're not facing problems that could occur later on in life once they become adults. We spoke with the law's main author, Senator Kirk Watson, back in February. A young person could find themselves really in violation of our child pornography laws, where they're faced with felony charges. However, the Department of Public Safety has pointed out a loophole, stating that the law does not apply to minors involved in a dating relationship or spouses. This has brought some criticism to the law. To define dating among teens, some say, is impossible. But those we spoke with support the change. We have other people that need to be in jail instead of people who have naked pictures on their phone, you know. Teens everywhere will no longer be treated like adults when it comes to punishment. That's something Kelly Crow agrees with, having witnessed the crime and the consequences at school. I do see where they're coming from because the, I mean, no teenager should have a felony on their, I mean, they're starting off the rest of their life, so. Now, the law's main author, Senator Kirk Watson out of Austin, says that he and other lawmakers worked with prosecutors to ensure that this solution was sensible, appropriate, and most of all, workable. Reporting in the newsroom, Bo Berman, CBS 7 News.